Well, hello again. In this example, you will gain some experience in identifying effective equilibrium equations for use in the method of sections for the analysis of trusses. We'll be taking a look at this particular example, recognizing that when you run equilibrium, you've got these three basic types of equations available, and we're being asked to identify which of those equations we would use for these three members. Those are located right here but we are specifically being asked to make sure that we choose an equilibrium equation so that we would have only one unknown force in any of the given equations that we use. We know that with the members where they are that we would need to make a cut right here. It will also be helpful to identify the slope of these members here. So looking at the dimensions we can see that for a rise of 2 we would get a run of 6. You may actually start by looking at this saying, hey, in a run of 6, how far does this drop? We know that from here to here, it drops 6 feet. Okay, so in a 6 foot run, it drops 2 feet. We'll use that a little bit later to help us out. But once we make the cut, we can then identify the free body diagram. I'm going to use the left side because it becomes just a little bit cleaner for me. And I'm going to sketch the unknown internal forces in terms of their resultant, not their x and y components. Not because we won't have to have them in their components when we run the equations, but in identifying which equations it becomes a little bit easier for us to identify which ones we want to use here. So this is what we've got. And so the first thing I'm going to do is identify that if I look for the intersection of any two members, and when we talk about intersection, we're really talking about the projected line of those. In this case, these two members intersect at joint C. So if I sum moments about point C, what I will be left with is I'll be able to find the force in bar FG. Then I can look at the intersection of a couple of other bars so look at this, bar FC and bar FG intersect at point F. So if I sum moments about point F, I would then be left with being able to find the force in bar BC. So remember, I'm just looking for the intersection of those projected lines. Now, in order to get FC, I could take my other two unknowns and I would project those out here and find a point, I'm going to call that O, and what it says is, is if I sum moments about point O, I can then directly solve for NFC. I guess the real question is, is where is point O? What that's going to require of me is to actually find what this dimension is. But as you and I had previously identified, we knew that this was a slope of 2 in 6. And so, if it drops 4 feet, that would then make this be 12 feet. So we've identified three equations of equilibrium, and every one of those would have only one unknown that we could directly solve for the desired bar force and also noting that we did not have to rely on getting any of the previous bar forces correct to get the next one identified correctly as well. That concludes this example, and as always, it's an absolutely beautiful day to study structures. <laughs>